Uh, that was everything we would have expected it to be. Uh, two teams that know each other very well, and two really good teams too. And uh, I don't think either team shot real well. I thought we were both teams were a little tight when you have a whole, you know, entire week off, and you know you're going into the NCAA's. The first game is usually the most dangerous from a shooting standpoint, and we both teams showed that. And then our defense uh, and rebounding is uh, we've won several games this year uh, based on defense and rebounding. I think that was the case tonight. Actually, a career high in rebounds today, and uh, none of them seemed easy. Could you talk a little bit about that? Um, it was definitely a challenge. You know, Leo was out there to win it, and um, at the beginning of the game, coach told us to just give it our all, and that's basically what every single girl did, and uh, rebounds made a difference. Sarah, the, in the first half there, we hit another wall where we didn't score for a, a couple of minutes there. How, did, how were we able to get the team back going again and get that offense rolling? Um, like I said, our, our main goal is just to play defense and rebound. Um, the shots will come like they did in the second half, but um, we just kept telling each other, just crash the offensive boards, you know. Um, and like I said, just play good defense. If they don't score, then you don't have to score pretty much. So um, our main goal was just to out-rebound them, play good defense, shut them down, and the shots would fall. Coach, we've been playing banged up for uh, the last couple of months now. Um, how do you get the team prepared for this quick turnaround after play tomorrow evening? Uh, we would probably do absolutely nothing. Uh, it, uh, yeah, banged up is uh, the nature of the beast this time of year, and we are that. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> we'll just rest. But I would imagine whoever wins this game, the next game is going to probably feel the same way. And I know St. Leo was banged up. So at this point, uh, it can't be an excuse. And uh, that's when you, really that's why we preach so much playing defense and rebounding because it keeps you in the ball game. And, uh, you know, yeah, we're, we're hurt. There's no doubt about it. No, no question. But I think everybody is. Uh, we went today over St. Leo. It was their first trip into the, mm -hmm. in the NCAA tournament. Um, how either nice or difficult was it to play against one of your former players? Um, I'm really proud of Nikki and what she's done with that program. Uh, she was a heck of a player. And there was, there was no doubt when she was a player that she, I, I thought she'd be a really good coach. And uh, that's been the case. And what she's done with that program and, and what the league is doing, you know, it's, uh, the league has really come on strong. We've got really, a lot of really good coaches in the league. And uh, it's, I think it's one of the premier, if not the premier league in the country. I really believe that. Coach, first half uh, game was uh, very tight, 26-25. Uh, um, is it being familiar with the team is what causes so much tough competition between the two? That's a great leading question. Fantastic. Thank you very much because you're exactly right. Yeah. Uh, it is. It's brutal. It's brutal. We, you know, when a team when a team calls a play and the other teams all, hey, they're they're running this, they're running this. You know, both teams are like that, and we know all of our offensive sets. So it really makes offense a struggle. You know, the only team that doesn't have to worry about that so much, I think, is Nova, and uh, they're such good, uh, such a really good shooting team uh, that, uh, the, the, regardless of the sets they run, regardless of what they do, they're just a really good shooting club. And uh, everybody else, I think, has to kind of slug it out and. Uh, you know, you, you identify the other team's good shooters, you get out on them, you know, you don't let them have their shots. And uh, so, you know, this time of the year, it's pretty much the case with everybody. You, you can't get to this point, really, without being a pretty good defensive team. It's really hard. Okay. Coach, can you talk about tomorrow and the possibility of who you'll be, who you'll be playing tomorrow? Obviously, two very good teams. Now, what would be the politically correct answer on that? <laughs> uh, <laughs> we'll play whoever wins the game, and we'll be ready to play either team. And you're really, truly, that's how you have to think of it. Uh, you know, we've seen Tampa uh, twice this year. We've seen them enough. Uh, by the same token, they're in our league. And so you want to root for teams that are in your league. And so you're really in a tough spot, you know. I mean, we've got three teams in our league that are in the same bracket. And four, half, the, half, this, half this term are teams from our league. And it's just tremendous. And so it, on, on the one hand, you, you, you don't want to play them again. On the other hand, you know, you feel like, gee, you know, you represent the league and do well. So it's a really tough position for us to be in, um, and we're just gonna, you know, show up. My main thing right now, I think, at this point, is we got to take care of ourselves and just get some rest and and just get in a frame of mind where, you know, we don't have a lot of turnaround. Let's just take care of our, our own game and our own business and just hope by this time of the year we're ready for mo pretty much anything.